Can you keep shrimp in a blackwater aquarium? At first glance, most fish keepers will tell you no. Shrimp need minerals, stable water, and lots of structure. And blackwater tanks, well, they're acidic, tan and stained, and often considered too extreme for delicate inverts. But here's the twist. I've been keeping shrimp in blackwater setups for years, and they're not just surviving, they're thriving. So today, let's explore the science behind shrimp and blackwater aquariums, and why your local water chemistry might make all the difference. And by the end, I'll leave you with one more question that might flip the way you think about shrimp keeping altogether. Shrimp keeping has exploded in popularity. From red cherry shrimp to delicate caradina species, they're everywhere. But when people ask me if shrimp can live in a blackwater aquarium, they're usually expecting a short answer. And the truth is, there isn't one, because it's not just as simple as a yes or a no. It's about the interaction between blackwater chemistry, shrimp physiology, and importantly, the water you use. So let's start with what blackwater actually is. Blackwater rivers like the Amazon are rich in tannins released from decaying leaves and botanicals. This creates soft acidic conditions, often a pH between 4.5 and 6, low conductivity and very few dissolved minerals. The water is literally a stained a tea brown color, but more importantly, it's nutrient poor. Shrimp need minerals such as calcium, magnesium, and trace elements that are essential for their exoskeleton development. This includes molting and reproduction. Put a shrimp in a water with zero hardness and you're asking for a failed molt and fatalities. So scientifically, shrimp shouldn't do well in pure black water conditions, and yet, many of us keep them successfully. But here's where it gets interesting. The blackwater aquarium in your living room isn't the same as the rivers of the Amazon rainforest. Most fish keepers, myself included, mainly use tap water. It's in our homes and requires little to make it safe for fish. In the area of the UK that I live, it's naturally hard water. So even when I add botanicals and drop the pH, there's still plenty of calcium and magnesium in the system. The tannins create the look and the acidity, but the underlying mineral content remains. The balance is what makes it possible. So shrimp get more minerals that they need, the tannins provide the antimicrobial benefits, helping to reduce the stress and disease, and the leaf litter and pods become grazing grounds, creating biofilm and microfauna that shrimp absolutely love. In fact, I'd argue my shrimp colonies have done better in blackwater aquarium setups than in sterile planted tanks, because they're constantly foraging amongst the botanicals and reaping their benefits. And yes, this isn't just a theory. I keep shrimp in my blackwater tanks to this day and they breed successfully. Of course, not all shrimp are the same. Neo caradina, like cherry shrimp, for example, they are hardy, adaptable, and tolerate a wide range of conditions, including tannin rich blackwater, as long as minerals are present. Caradina species, though, like crystal red and bee shrimp, well, these are a bit trickier because they naturally prefer soft, acidic water but still need mineral supplementation for malting. So in blackwater tanks, remineralized RO water is often used to strike that balance. So again, the success comes down to mineral content plus stability, not just the color of your water. So I know what you're all asking, what are the risks? Well, extremely low pH, so below five can cause malting issues. So you gotta be aware of that. And if your source water is already very soft, adding botanicals may strip away the large traces of minerals shrimp depend on and also fluctuate in pH levels, common in blackwater tanks as botanicals break down, which can cause stress in sensitive species. But if you understand your water chemistry and manage it, these risks are easily balanced. It's also worth looking at where shrimp come from in the wild. Many freshwater species like caradina are naturally found in streams and rivers across Asia. These waters are often shaded, filled with leaf litter, and can be slightly acidic, almost mimicking a blackwater environment. Others like Nero Caradina are native to more mineral-rich streams and ponds, which explains why they're more adaptable in captivity. What's fascinating is that while few shrimp are collected directly from true Amazon-style blackwater rivers, for example, they do thrive in habitats with organic matter, biofilm, and natural structure, all of which blackwater aquariums recreate beautifully. 
In my own tanks, I've seen shrimp thrive in blackwater environments. The combination of local hard water, leaf litter, and tannin-rich environments has been a winning formula for me. I'm not just keeping them alive, but they're reproducing, growing, and adding an incredible layer of activity in my aquariums. Ultimately, the success of keeping shrimp is down to the person looking after them and the conditions the animals are being put to. It's important, as with many things, especially on social media, is to know that although what works for one person might not work for others. So make sure you do your research, take it slow and test before introducing anything new or different to your animals. Some are more sensitive than others. And if they are going from say a planted clear aquarium to then being thrown into a tannin rich acidic one, this could be quite the shock. So patience is always key. So can you keep shrimp in the black water aquarium? Yes, absolutely. And if you understand the science behind it and adapt it to your own water conditions, you'll have great success. But here's the bigger question. If shrimp can thrive in blackwater aquariums, something that many people thought was once impossible, what other rules of aquarium keeping are just waiting to be broken?